I don't know, my grandparents instilled just always doing the right thing and always trying to be there for other people. I get teary sometimes thinking about them. They're still here, it's just I haven't seen them in a year. For a few years, like after we started the company or the business, people were always like, oh, I know, busy, busy, busy. And I just hated hearing that. And I was like, I'm not too busy for like, I'm here with this interaction, I'm present. So I really made it a focus to, when people say, oh, how are things? I do not stay busy. It's just like, it's just life, it's, it's what we're doing. So. I feel like that's what, the only thing I'm really good at is talking to people. And I would luck, I'm lucky enough to find a, a job that, or a career that lets me do that. Kent University has a branch in Salem, and I was taking classes there, and on my break I would come to downtown and walk around it. I actually remember seeing this building years before I had any inkling of ever owning a business or doing business in Salem, and it just struck me as a really cool building. Um, it has uh, just a historic sort of charm to it. There's, people say that there's that saying, you, you don't know, or you know what you don't know, or you don't know what you don't know, I guess. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly. And that is a, a thing that I started learning from my philosophy class. It's just like, I'm not going to know it all. I need to reach out to people who have done this before. And I was able to find that with SBDC. There's a lot of resources there. Whereas a lot of times people, you go to, you know, maybe have an online business consultant. They say, well, how do you feel about this? Or what does it make you feel like? And they don't give you any actual tangible steps to do anything. And that's what I think is different with SBDC. I, I started off as needing the advising. I still need advising. I still talk to Steve about stuff all the time. And um, their accounting and uh, media advisors, I'm, I'm still building my HR department and talking to their HR advisors. We've put together an employee handbook now. So it doesn't stop with just getting the business started. The proof is, you know, I started off as a client of the SBDC and now I'm a consultant of the SBDC and I'm driving two hours to help a guy in Coshocton open a cafe um, and they have their uh, meeting for their capital funding coming up next month and it's just, I was able to go through it, um, survive all of it and now I'm helping other people do that. You know, people are a lot more focused on what they're putting into their bodies. They're a lot more focused on what they're supporting with their with their money financially. You know, rather than having what everybody has, people want what nobody has now. And especially coffee really steps in and fills that that for people because you get a special little treat made handmade for you in a cool environment. Um, I don't know. I think the biggest thing is just trying it. 